Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. <clears throat> Today I wanted to talk about uh, using surface edges as profiles for machining. Uh, yesterday I went through this part example and uh, one of the things that I was trying to do was use the surface edges for the part and uh, I ran into a problem. So let me go ahead and uh, set this up here. Okay, so I have my part set up and uh, you know I loaded in a three axis routine so let me go ahead and just get that going. Uh, this is going to be advanced rough, half inch end mill, uh, offset, zigzag, Okay, all right, so this gives me my roughing routine. So I roughed out the part here, and then once I was done doing that, I came back and I loaded a uh, two-axis <clears throat> two routine. Fair enough. So uh, when I came through to select this, I, I right-clicked on this edge and I used constant Z, but it didn't select all the way around the part. Okay, and uh, I didn't realize it, but when I initially imported the file as an iGIS file, it, it wasn't actually a solid. If I right click here and I go to Entity Summary, uh, you can see all the different types of entities that are here, and it shows 102 solids, but they're not actually together. I'm, I'm not sure why it actually shows them as solids, but it's looking at them as uh, individual surfaces. So uh, there's a really easy way to fix this. You just go to utilities, stitching, stitch surface to solid, choose all, spacebar, right click cancel. And then what's going to happen now is when you highlight over the part, the whole thing highlights. So it knows that it's one object. And then when I come in here to select my geometry, when I right click on this edge here, right click constant Z you'll see now it goes all the way around so that was just an oversight uh, on my side of uh, not realizing that the body or uh, all the faces weren't together so when you're working and, and here, here's the thing the advantage of this is now you don't need to go through and measure uh, the geometry or extract the edges or you know you don't need to do those extra steps because you have the surface edges and you can select them directly. So let's go ahead and go through that again uh, where it says geometry, you right click, reselect, you right click on the edge you want to work with and then constant Z and here you'll see it will select all the way around. Uh, from there you can continue on with your your programming as far as you know the rough tool you're going to use or the finish tool you're going to use etc so uh, if you guys have any questions comments feedback uh, please reply back to the facebook the youtube or whatever thread this video may be posted in otherwise we'll see you in the next one